Hello, and welcome to round 12 of the UNF1 Championship, here for another picture-perfect Bahrain Grand Prix here on the short layout. I'm ROP, and I'll be taking you to the track shortly, but as the drivers go around for the formation lap, a quick announcement that UNF2 had their first race last Saturday with Frecci Viola and myself, ROP, on the call. So the full race should be on the channel, so look in the past live streams and it should be there, and give it a watch, and a like, and comment if you really would love to. So anyway, I'm going to let Kyle take it from here, and I hope you enjoy the highlights. Let's go ahead and uh, run through the order one more time if you just tune in. Uh, Manuel and Tunis. The Brazilian is on pole position, along with uh, Cross Tommy, one of the championship contenders and who has won the last four races in second place. And Vapor in third, and the other Williams uh, alongside with Frika Viola in fourth, and the Mercedes, and then Pepsi Freak, another championship contender, is in fifth, along with uh, Donsta in red in the Red Bull in sixth place. Re uh, Brevin Yesk in the McLaren in seventh, and... Santo in 8th in the Alfa Romeo, FC Don in the other Mercedes in ninth, and Paulo Frost is in 10th. So you just saw on your screen, that was the pit stop strategy. It is recommending a one-stop strategy from the softs to the mediums. Uh, in lap 22 to 24, I think it's said, on the, uh, for the pit window. All right, so let's get the cars. We'll get the cars again on the grid and get around this track. Around 57 laps, 2.3 miles to cover, and only 10 cars on the grid to deal with. Manuel and Tunis on pole position. We'll leave them down the straight, uh, going down 500 meters to turn one. All right, we should be getting going now. And we will have the five red lights ahead of the drivers in front of them. And it's lights out, and away we go. And it looks like Manuel Antunes gets a pretty decent start off the line. And it looks like uh, the Haas is covering off his teammate. And also Vapor going to the inside. Oh, and Donksta with the big time d dive bomb into turn one. Loses a, a bit of his front wing as well, I think. And... He just went all the way down. Oh, there's more carnage in the back as well. A Mercedes involving Alpha. Yeah. And a VSC, no surprise for that with all the damage that happened there into turn two, or turn three, I should say. Uh, but yeah, uh, Donsta making a very opportunistic move into turn one. I don't know if he just outbroke himself or he was just trying to play a hero, but. Also, uh, Santo picked up a penalty as well for all the colli for a collision. And there you go, VSC is ended. <laughs> Interesting start to the race, but uh, lap one, uh, kind of like what we've seen from the last couple races in Bahrain, is happening again here today as well with uh, Vapor. Yeah, I also forgot to met. Oh, well, okay, now I'm the. Timing screen is uh, getting wonky for me. I'm pretty sure it's the same way for you guys as yeah, well. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. And Vapor, right now in the lead from Manuel to Cross Tommy, Pepsi, and MFC Don as your top five. And DRS and Naval, will Team Horse come into effect or is he going to attack his teammate? And Manuel's going to go around the outside. Here comes the Haas of Tommy. Oh, he bumps into the back of him. Uh, no damage from the way it looked. But Manuel gets the move done and gets back into the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix, or the Bahrain Short Grand Prix, if you want to call it that. Oh, contact up between the two. Williams, sorry to cut you off, but the... There was contact between the two Williams at the final corner. And now here comes Cross Tommy with DRS. And so, and Vape. Oh, Santos out. Oh, okay. He's retired in the pits. Never mind. But here comes Cross Tommy on the inside into turn one. And I think he's got both of the Williams. I think. No, he don't. Not quite. He's going to have the inside line, though, into uh, turn three or, or turn three or four, I believe it is. But yeah, I think he's got the move done at the moment. And he does have DRS. Vapor does not, so Cross Tommy takes the lead of the Grand Prix. All 
All right, into the foul corner. It looks like Vapor will get DRS, though, uh, from cross Oh, it goes a little bit wide there, but that allows Manuel to have a better run on into the foul corner. And he will have DRS. Yeah, both of them got... He must have a setup, I think, for a straight line speed, so that's definitely helping him out a little bit. The two Williams, though, actually barging each other, though, laying their elbows out into turn four. Vapor still holds them off somehow, but they still have DRS. Uh, roughly even from where he was, about four seconds. Anyways, DRS now enabled again for the Williams. Oh, it's oh. oh, wow. Oh, okay. Well, that was a little bit questionable from Tommy. Just cuts him off uh, when he got, got DRS, but Manuel will say, well, I'll take that place back, and he takes back the lead of the Grand Prix. And now Tommy... Yeah, but now Tommy's going to counterattack with DRS, and he will get ahead of him. So, so a lot of lead changes already in this race. I think we've had about close to four or five of them at the moment. So, really close battle still, but uh, all, all three of these drivers just not giving up at the very moment. Refusing to give up the position. But Manuel still, under, still trying to provide the threat. And he's got 30% ERS to help him out. Does he want to use it? And he, he's actually using it now. So he's going to try to get it by the Haas. And he looks like will breeze past before the first corner. So Manuel takes back the lead once again of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And here comes his teammate on the inside of uh, Tommy. Uh, it looks like Tommy cuts him off a little bit there. So he holds second place. But Manuel takes the lead back of the Grand Prix. And yeah, Vapor has now gone down to 2.8 seconds. So he's not only losing pace, but he's also going to be losing pace very soon to Pepsi because Pepsi's starting to close in a little bit more. And oh, actually, I spoke too soon. It's Vapor. I was on uh, Pepsi uh, for my camera angle. But yeah, Vapor made a mistake. He must have went too much curve on the inside part of turn eight and just completely lost it. So, does he go in? Uh, the answer is no. So, he still continues. Interesting stuff to see. Uh, but I have to imagine that those tires are starting to at least deteriorate. At yeah, least, you can like, start to see the... Uh, you can start to see the wear line on those on those softs on the front Oh, left. freaking Viola's on it. We got a safety car. How did, how did he end up like that? That's pretty much what the way it looks, and the safety car is coming in. So, uh, Pepsi will be under threat, though, from Tommy, as he's on, I think he's on a U set of soft tires, if I'm not mistaken. And we are under green, and that is a horrific start from Pepsi Freaking, as he's under pressure now from uh, from Cross Tommy. And now here comes F MFC Don to the inside. He thought about it, but he doesn't make the move. But now Tommy takes back the lead of the Bahrain Yeah, but remember, he also has to serve that drive through penalty as well for speeding under the safety car. And he has to serve it within three laps. Otherwise, he will be disqualified. 
It's pretty much from the way it looks that Paul of Frost is good in the last sectors, but Dawn gains more time, I'd say, in the uh, first and second sector. But looks like Paul is going to try to go for it on the outside. He's gonna go for, he's gonna go for the switchback against the Mercedes. He was using overtake a lot of yeah a lot of overtake to use as well, and he's got DRS to help him out, and he will get ahead of him too. So he gets ahead into fourth place, ahead of MFC Don. But Don's gonna come back at him on the inside into turn one. Bumps him a little bit there as well. Goes a little bit still more. No. Oh, he he spins him off. Uh, and he res and he res and he resets himself to circuit. So that he might face a penalty for that as well, but don't. Yeah, he pitted for mediums yeah. about two laps ago. Ah, uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, I, I was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't catch that either. Yeah, so Manuel did pit for mediums not too long ago, but. Uh, Those two are still banging each other at the straights. A little bit of questionable driving, I'm noticing, from Don. Had the incident with the Ferrari, and he almost had an incident with the McLaren as well. So, a uh, little bit of questionable driving, I'm noticing, there from Don. So, you might want to be very careful and doesn't want to get into any more further trouble. Uh, he'll be under threat from Vapor as he's got the medium tires to help him out as to his advantage. And he's got DRS to help him as, as well. But I doubt he's close enough to get a move done. Oh, he's going to go for it on the inside. Into turn one. Does he make the move? Uh, not quite. Oh, but Revan just parks the car out of the kink as well. So now Vapor's going to try to go around the outside. And he looks like he's got the move. And he will get DRS as well because he was behind him at the detection point as well. So that helps him out a little bit. So that puts Vapor up into fourth and uh, Brevin down to fifth. Jacob, I gotta agree oh. with you, man. I think these tires are gonna implode. Who is it that we saw get a puncture a few weeks ago? I forgot who that was, but remember we saw the left front basically melt? Oh, he's coming in. Okay, so yeah, he probably was. He probably was near puncture territory, maybe. If my rough guess it is, so so Pepsi takes the lead. Uh, but he is not close enough just quite yet. The gap is now close to 1.3 seconds. So yeah, this could this could maybe get close to a three-way fight again if we. Yep, and also Manuel will be in DRS range to help him out as well to see if he can get pulled. But he's also out of ERS, so that's not going to help him out either. So here comes Manuel. He's going to get to the inside of Pepsi, and he's going to take the lead. He takes back the lead of the Grand Prix, but also Tommy takes, it, takes second place ahead of Pepsi. Oh, with a little bit of contact as well. Oh, no, that's going to definitely uh, compromise him there. So, And that to make things even worse, he gets a three-second time penalty as well for multiple wars. Oh, he'll be kicking and screaming. No, he has no damage, uh, no end play missing, but uh, yeah, he's all over the back of the Williams, but yeah, he's got that three second time penalty, unless he can manage to build the gap somehow, so, somehow that he uh, he has to get within three seconds on the final lap, which starts now, and he's going to be close and barred with the Williams, and he's 
He cuts him off. Oh, wow. That was very aggressive defending there from the Haas. He also goes wide, and Manuel takes the uh, the line, and he got uh, locked up. And <laughs> he also pushes him off as well. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. No, his his front wing's fine. Uh, it was just very aggressive defending. I think Tommy's just kicking himself about that penalty, but uh, he w looks like he will cross the line first. But from the way it looks, the penultimate where will be Matt Well in the Williams. So even with a oh, oh, he's out of fuel. No way, he's out Pepsi's of fuel. Gonna so win. Pepsi's gonna win it. Pepsi's gonna win it. No way. <laughs> so Manuel ran out of fuel, and Pepsi takes the win. Wow. Ran out of fuel. Low fuel. He's out of fuel. He's ran out of fuel. No, no, no. He's got Come it. On. He's Come got on. Got Please. Got He's got it. Got it. He's got it. it. He's got it. We got it. We got it. it. We got it. it. We fucking got it. We fucking got it. Oh, my God. Please. As we take a look at the final results here, Pepsi gets his first UNF1 victory after he took those mediums and made him last. Manuel and Cross both have heartbreaking finishes as it looked like Cross had the race won until he had a time pedal he added onto his time and he'll finish second. And Manuel looked like he would have had the victory, but he ran out of fuel on the backstretch but allowed Pepsi to win, which is just heartbreaking for him. And Paulo gets his first points in over five rounds, which is good for Ferrari's case. As Pepsi makes way into the top step of the podium along with Cross and Manuel, let's take a look at the driver's standings. Freddie, not being able to show up this week, allows Cross and Pepsi to close the gap, and with two rounds to go, Cross and Pepsi are sure going to be nipping on the heels of Freddie for first place. Johnny loses touch from Freddie because of his no-show, the Donster takes over the battle for fifth place, and Manuel is able to get into the top ten with a strong showing. As we take a look at the rest of the driver's standings, even though we're out of contention, all these drivers are still fighting to get inside the top 10 because they'll still get a special perk if they do for next season. Williams driver Vapor is trying to get into the top 10 with a strong performance, and Crudy is going to fall outside the top 10 because he wasn't able to show. And the rest of the drivers in the standings are still trying to leave if they can't get inside the top 10 or it's very hard for them, they're still looking at least a strong showing for their own merit. As we take a look at the constructor standings, McLaren extends their lead with two, to go, two rounds to go, Haas passes Racing Point for second place, and Williams has passed Mercedes and is trying to hunt down Red Bull for fifth. Well, that should wrap things up here at Bahrain. Next week, UNF1 heads off to Abu Dhabi for round 13. So make sure you set your calendars because the next two rounds are going to be on Saturdays. So the round, the round at Abu Dhabi is going to be at December 12th at 2 Eastern, 7 GMT. I'm RRP, and I'm signing off.